Hey, what's good guys? How you doing? This is the one and only Mighty Avenger and welcome back again to another reaction video. I'm doing all right so far. Just enjoying my day off, etc, etc. First off, let me get this out of the way to say welcome to the first day of August. It's getting closer to the end of summer and I know that people are getting tired with this heat. Trust me, I am as well. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, when it comes to pro wrestling and you get to hear the awful news that uh, most of the recognized superstars that they're being released or another term for being fired once the contract is reached to the end of the chorus of it and you don't get to see them. And who could forget about the infamous Black Wednesday? That was a year ago. So why am I bringing this up just now? Um, let's just say that James messaged me last night and there was a link that, that shows that Bray Wyatt was released from the company yesterday. It was the big what the fuck moment. Excuse my language. It's just that... <sighs> It doesn't make sense. I mean, it, it it it's been it's been it's been like that for the past few weeks, and it's been very quiet. We haven't heard much from Bray, or if if there's any any chance or a sign of him making a return to the company. And and I have been watching most of the episodes of the of the of the previous ones from WrestleMania, and that he's in a in a really good shape, and. There was a talk that that he was gonna make a comeback. That that's what I heard about that. That was like, I mean, I, I it was like a couple days ago, and now that's not gonna happen. So yeah, I am pretty pissed about this, and I I, I need to know what the reason is why he was he was fired. So. There is a latest episode that just came out about like uh, exactly, maybe it was like nine or ten hours ago. So, uh, just for the record, that I don't own this clip, but this is from WrestleMania. So, if you want to get all the source of information of regards to from WWE to AEW or Impact or other wrestlings, then that's the source that you want to go to and subscribe to them. So. This is nothing more, nothing less than just to see what what the deal is. So let's go ahead and take a look. What's going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Jeez, I'm still reeling from yesterday's news. Now, I, I was bet. having dinner with my wife yesterday because it was our fifth anniversary. And that's Aww. when the news dropped that Bray Wyatt had been released from the WWE. I had to tell her, look, I gotta do this first. Then we'll continue our dinner. This is massive news. Well, she understood. Kind of. No. Anyway, let's look at the wildest <laughs> news stories you need to a very strong today, word. including the real reason why he was released from the WWE. Bray was actually creatively frustrated in the Wait, WWE he, when he was what? set to make his return to television. The reaction from WWE superstars regarding his release. Kurt Angle has turned down AEW. Braun really? Strowman teases a reunion with Bray Wyatt and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into the first story. Now our first story looks at the insane reason why Bray Wyatt was fired. Now as I said before, the news was a complete shock to all wrestling fans as Wyatt was one of the most talented superstars on the roster and yeah. was a three time world champion so it kind of seemed unlikely that he would ever be released. But when it was announced via WWE.com yesterday, fans believed that Wyatt may have actually asked for his release and that it was a personal decision on behalf to leave the WWE. But this isn't the case, as a number of top sources including the Wrestling Observer and Fightful have reported that Wyatt was released due to budget cuts. Now this isn't the same reason serious? that other WWE superstars were given when they were released. Wyatt's release being put down to budget cuts led to more confusion within the WWE fanbase as Wyatt was a top merchandise seller in the company and it seemed like an incredibly bizarre move for WWE to cut someone that made them so much money. 
Of course, it wasn't just wrestling fans that were shocked, as a number of current WWE and former WWE superstars took to social media to share their thoughts on Wyatt. Former WWE superstar Mickey James replied to the WWE's now, I have official heard tweet that she announcing returned Wyatt's to Impact. release by stating, I think what you meant to say was, thank you so much for coming up with such an incredible gimmick time and time again. Once so cool and over, we really don't know how to book it right. So we just gave it to someone else so we can still make all the money off it and let you go. Damn, there's a little bit of sauce in that tweet. Alexa Bliss, who was working closely with Wyatt before his absence from WWE television, also yeah. tweeted, I'm really at a loss for words. Thank you so much, Wyndham, for everything that you've done for this company. The most fun I've had is working with you. Such an amazing talent and most kind person. I'm just in shock. Unfortunately, a number of fans began to directly blame Alexa for Wyatt's release, and this forced the former women's champion to make her Twitter account private. WWE wow. legend Mick Foley also made a touching tribute to the work of Wyatt in a Twitter post saying, with WWE's release of Bray Wyatt, the company has lost a true visionary and a creative genius, one of the most innovative makers of mayhem pro wrestling has ever seen. He's hoping Bray finds happiness and recreates himself once again in wrestling, in life, or both. A Wyatt being released from the WWE will unfortunately leave a huge void in the WWE roster. Wyatt seemed to be incredibly popular backstage, and if the social media reaction is anything to go by, he'll be sorely missed. We still can't think of what's going through either Nick Khan or Vince McMahon's mind when they say that they need to release him due to budget cuts. Now we can go under the opinion that WWE has just lost their minds. What do you guys think of the reason why they fired him? Let us know in the comments down below. I think it's Next BS. up, Bray Wyatt was creatively frustrated in WWE. A Sean Ross Sapp hosted a special Fightful live stream yesterday discussing the release of Wyatt from WWE. In this stream, Sapp revealed that Wyatt was somewhat frustrated with the WWE creative team. No kidding, as they just sound like a bunch of buffoons. Sapp noted that Wyatt would often reject ideas if they didn't fit his vision of how Wyatt wanted his character to go. This is supported by the fact that the finish to The Fiend vs Randy Orton match at WrestleMania 37 was changed at the last minute. The Fiend was initially planned to win the match, finally ending the rivalry with Orton. However, this was changed at the last minute, no doubt frustrating Wyatt. Sap added, There were people that told me on Friday before WrestleMania that he was told by people in the match, We got a great idea. And then they did what they did at WrestleMania and everyone was like, mm, Really? Yeah, just doesn't make any sense. Now there is a company which offers now it does make sense. to wrestlers, I mean, who knows, Wyatt may even put an offer into there and see how it goes. Like, can you imagine him being the leader of the Dark Order faction? Like, what an honor to both Brody and what an amazing faction AEW could have. Next hmm. up, Bray was actually supposed to return soon. See, a following the, Wyatt's release yesterday, it was uh, reported I'm by sorry. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Wyatt was set to return to television earlier this month. Meltzer even stated that creative plans were locked in for Wyatt's return feud, although he didn't comment on who Wyatt was going to feud with. He was advertised for the August 9th edition of Raw, so it appears as if that's when WWE were planning on having Wyatt make his grand return to WWE. A number of fans believed that Wyatt would be going to SmackDown to feud with Finn Balor, with some fans believing the Balor vs Wyatt program would have been one of the matches of the SummerSlam card. Mm. However, with Balor now entering a feud with Baron Corbin, that clearly was never the plan. Next up, why Bray Wyatt was absent from yeah, WWE that's what television I was following WrestleMania 37. About that. And following Wyatt's loss to Randy Orton at WrestleMania 37, fans have been wondering why he was absent from WWE programming. Well, according to Dave Meltzer, Wyatt was out of action due to medical reasons, but he didn't disclose what these medical reasons were. Meltzer also revealed that Wyatt was finally cleared ahead of his return to TV this month and stated he had been out for medical reasons and he had just gotten cleared. Then when he got cleared, they evaluated the situation and he was told that due to budgetary reasons that he's being cut. The basic gist is that he's another high contract guy, whether it's because it's concerns over the medical reasons is the real reason, or they could not come up with an idea to justify his salary. I don't know which of that it is, but that's a basic deal with him. Next up an ex WWE superstar makes his Impact Wrestling debut. Impact Wrestling added yet another former WWE superstar to the roster okay, last night. Okay, this is what I heard about that. Event. I got just part of watching Impact's on Impact. Tag Team Tournament, Drama King Matt, formerly known as Aiden English, made his Impact it? debut, teaming with Knockouts oh, champion Diablo Razzo. The duo were victorious in a number of matches and actually won the final in the tournament in a match against Decay. It'll be interesting to see how the drama team does an impact. It. He had moderate but success in nice the WWE, him again. mainly as part of tag teams. However, during this final portion of his WWE career, WWE switched him to a non-wrestling role, a role which he actually received rave reviews from. We look forward to seeing more of him. Next up, Kurt Angle turns down AEW. A Kurt Angle officially retired from in-ring competition in 2019. 
The Angle's final match was incredibly disappointing, but even though his match was disappointing, Angle had no plans to return to the ring. Angle even stated that he had offers from both AEW and Impact Wrestling, but he turned them both down, citing that he is in no physical state to wrestle again. Oh. Whilst being interviewed by Fightful, Angle revealed, I had AEW, TNA they offered, but I can't do it, I wish I could. My body's too banged up, just trying to live my life now and trying to live it in less pain. I'm in a lot of pain right now, I'm suffering from the career I've had, but I don't regret it. AEW I think was a 7 match deal. TNA, I think they were just going to do one match, but I just felt my final matches in the WWE. I knew that I'd lost the step. I wasn't the same as I was in my prime. I didn't like the person I was, the performer I was. So if I can't perform at the level that I was in my prime, I'm not going to do it anymore. That's why I turned down the offers from AEW and TNA. Next okay. up, Braun Strowman teases a reunion with Bray Wyatt. Now, following Wyatt's release yesterday, Wyatt's real-life friend and former WWE superstar Braun Strowman took to Twitter to tease a reunion between the two friends. Braun posted a picture of the two men with a caption, Brother, I'm waiting. Interestingly, both Braun oh. and Wyatt main evented last year's SummerSlam show, and fast forward a year later, neither one of them in WWE. However, WWE has expressed interest in bringing him back. Meltzer would state, they're interested in having Strowman back at a lower price, but who knows what things will happen. I guess he signed up to do a show in Qatar, so he's doing some indies, so he'll get a big payday off that. It'll be interesting to see where Braun ends up, as it was reported that AEW as well as independent companies were interested in bringing him in, so it looks like the decision is ultimately up to Braun himself. Mm. And finally, an Owen Hart tribute show in AEW. Huh? Our final story relates to AEW filing a brand new trademark. On July 28th, AEW filed for the trademark King, King of Hearts. Hearts. This was notable for being the nickname that the legendary Owen Hart used during his WWE career, so it'll be interesting to see what capacity AEW are going to be using the trademark for. Fans are speculating that they'll be running some kind of tribute show for Owen, however, these are just rumours at this point. But there you have it folks, the wildest okay. news stories and rumours you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more WRESTLING CONTENT! I don't know about you guys, but this is a one hell of a pill for me to swallow after this. So that's the reason why he was released from the company because of the budget cuts. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is this is one of the top wrestlers and given such a best promos that's ever shown. And I never knew that he was pissed at the company. Maybe it's because of the, the match between him and Randy Orton back at the WrestleMania a couple months ago. Yeah, he was supposed to win, wasn't it? But no, they, they had their minds, thoughts about this and wanted to change it that he was supposed to lose to Randy. Well, whatever the case was, but that's still pretty effed up, I, I, I dare to say. And... Now I am certain that he was going to be planning a, of a comeback, and which is now has been mentioned that, that he was going to make a return to SmackDown, but now it's not going to happen, and which is that that kind of change of the, of the ri rivalry between Finn Balor and Baron Corbin. So that little comeback plan is now into a scrap. And I do remember his ring debut as the Fiend of the last year's SummerSlam. And uh, it was pretty, pretty awesome. Just uh, almost snapped Finn's neck. And which that, thank goodness that, that we didn't get to hear of that bolt snapping. But it was pretty surprisingly and shocking, quote unquote, WTF moment there. <sighs> it just sucks, man. But I will say to this that personally, I just wanted to, to, to say to Bray, thank you for bringing the entertainment to everyone, including myself, and enjoy watching Little Fun House there. It was it was it was pretty entertaining just to get a couple of few laughs. And trust me when I say that I've been watching WWE for a very long time from. Follow to the buzzard to Yowie Wowie. So for that, I will drink to that. But it is pretty surprising that 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 he that Kurt Angle almost wanted to sign up for AEW, but his body is not in at the top shape that that he 
used to be back then. So I can respect for that and that he, he yeah, because he's he's getting old. And Aiden now on Impact Wrestling, hey, that's that that's what's up. So I'm just glad to get to see him. So now the fact that uh, I just recorded of the Impact Wrestling episode, so at least now I know what what channel it is. So that way I can I can get a chance to cu get caught up on it. But that's all I just wanted to see. So that's all it is. Nothing more. Nothing less. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little choked up there. But I'm pretty sure that that everyone who's a fan of Bray Wyatt is still. Still pretty choked up about the of this shocking news, and I, I really do hope that there is a future hope for him, and that maybe that he will surprise us again. Either that he will be at AW or Impact, who knows? But hopefully that we will see him again. Well, I uh, I think that's gonna be it for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call it a night. Uh, I may need to go back on doing another game streaming, so, but if you are a Bray Wyatt fan or The Fiend, then just leave it a likes and also leave the comments down below. And not to mention that the click and sus subscribe to WrestleMania for all the sources of, of the news with, that's related to WWE, to AEW, to Impact, and all other wrestlings that the shows. But... I'll catch y'all in the next video. So take care, guys, and be safe. Mighty signing out.